is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It's the first of two shows. We're going to break down each fighter um, in, in this weekend's big fight between Lewis Neary and Brandon Figueroa. Uh, we're going to start with my guy, Brandon Figueroa, the heartbreaker himself. Uh, undefeated Super Bantamweight, holds a WBA belt, um, a WBA regular belt. Um, but before we get into it, please like and subscribe. Um, Share on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, Quick Hits. Comes at you twice a day, every day, 8 to 10 minutes, real quick, real brief, uh, just to cut, keep you up to date on the latest boxing news and rumors. Um, also, like our brand new channel, Texas Boxing Scene, which will have some new content up there for you tomorrow. Some interviews with some fighters from Fort Worth, some big news going on. Um, let's get into today's show, though. Um, Brandon Figueroa, the heartbreaker. Um, He's going to be one of the best fighters in the world moving forward. Um, and, and I want to get into why. Um, look, I'm picking him to win a, a, a decision over Neary. Uh, and, and we'll get into that. Why it, it's going to be, this is going to be a fun fight. It's going to be a great fight. Uh, but it, it's, I don't really see Neary's path to victory. Uh, Figueroa can switch between both stances. Um, he can keep Neary guessing. Neary likes to throw the, the left hand. Um, he likes to throw it wide. Figueroa with his constant head movement, constant slipping, constant jockeying for position, right? Just his awkward come forward style. Um, I, I don't see how Neary lands enough to beat him. Figueroa is going to land up just because of his style, right? He's constantly coming for, and he's got plenty of pop. I just went back and watched the Chucky Flores fight. I mean, the guy's got real power. He's got more power than his brother does. He's jabs better. He moves his head better. He goes to the body like a champ. Um, he just does so many things on the inside, right? Um, and his, if he gets the fight to the inside, he wins the fight. Figueroa's whole, uh, near his whole fight, is, is on the outside, but he likes to scrap on the inside too. Neary would have to fight such a disciplined fight, and he'd have to not throw those wide left hands. He'd have to come straight down the pipe with him, which he doesn't really like to do. So, again, I think this is a great fight. I think it's a high-energy, high-octane kind of slugfest, but I don't see how, it, unless Neary lands something, you know, um, it, out of this world, the perfect shot. I, I don't see how he wins enough rounds to beat Figueroa. I don't think he stops Figueroa. So as good as this fight is, and I think this fight's a winner, I think this fight's a great fight, I, I just think at this time, Brandon Figueroa is too much. He is the ultimate pressure fighter. I think he, right now, as pure pressure fighters in 2021, Brandon Figueroa is the best fighter because he can use his jab. He sets everything up. He stalks his way in with his jab. And then once he's on the inside, he's slippery. You can't really get your hands on him because he's constantly changing angles, changing stances. Uh, and then he, he goes to the body with tremendous power. He's a tremendous body puncher. He mixes up his shots upstairs. He goes head body, head body. Uh, and, and the power is real, right? He's not your typical volume puncher. Right? Like Juan Baby Bull Diaz, who just threw a bunch of shots and they didn't really have much sting. He's got real sting. Everything you like about Omar Figueroa, who we loved, you know, before he kind of crashed and burned his career out, Brandon Figueroa does and does it even better. Right? I, I really think that, you know, 122 right now is loaded. Uh, and I don't know how much longer he can make it, but he's going to fight this fight. And, and should he win, like I'm predicting him to win, he's going to fight Stephen Fulton next to him. And that is an incredible fight. And, and we'll get into that, but let's not let, let's not jump the shark there. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um, you know, Brandon Figueroa, and, and you can say I'm waving the Texas flag. The kid's from Mexico. He's from the Valley. Um, he's 24 now. He, he's not even – he hasn't even hit his prime yet. Um. He's so good, and he's so much fun to watch. Uh, this kid has the potential at, at 22, 26 to make a lot of money for those weight classes, move up, 
and, and really dominant. He's because he, he's about five nine, five ten. He should be able to move up. I think he can go all up to lightweight without losing much power. Um, I, I think his best weight class is probably going to be twenty six. Um, he doesn't have to suck down. He doesn't have to, you know, drain himself to make twenty six. Uh, but he he can go up. Um, and again, he does so many things so well on the inside. The angles, the switches, the, the punch volume, just is relentless. Um, it, this is a really, really, really tough fight for Neri to win. You know, like I said, Neri is a good fighter, and Neri's going to have success. One twenty two is a really, really, really tough division right now. I, I, I don't really see how Neri. I, I two things. I don't see how this fight isn't highly entertaining, and I don't see how Neri sticks to the game plan. And keeps Figueroa on the outside. You know, it's weird because Figueroa's a long fighter, but Figueroa, it, it, it's tough. You know, Fig, Neary's probably better on the outside, and Figueroa is definitely better on the inside. Except Neary doesn't like to keep a fight on the outside. He likes it on the inside. And that, you're fighting into Figueroa's hand, and I think Figueroa is the best inside come forward pressure fighter in the sport today. I really do. And, and we're going to see that. Um, I just want you to pay attention to the angles. The, that he gives you the head movement, the nonstop motion, right? It's hard to hit him. It's hard. He's, for a guy that's in front of you, he's he's slippery. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Are you as hyped for this fight as, as I am? Do you think Brandon Figueroa's future is as bright as I do? Uh, please leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, 3D Boxing, uh, quick hits comes at you twice a day, every day. Uh, check out the new channel, Texas Boxing Scene, uh, which is completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. Um, and all the proceeds from that channel go directly to autism research and recovery. So uh, please uh, subscribe to it so we can monetize it as quickly as possible. Uh, it is May 14th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.